What's up? My name is Kamal, and today Miranda and I are going to be changing the brake fluid on our 2013 Mazda Speed 3. So the first thing to do is just get the car up on jack stands. If you don't know how to do that properly, I'll link a video in the description where I show how to get your Speed 3 on jack stands. We took the wheels off. Uh, I was plugging a tire and we were thinking about rotating them as well, but it's not actually absolutely necessary to take the wheels off to do this because the bleeder screws are, you can see the front ones right there with that rubber cap on it. You can, as you can see, get access to it from underneath and inside without actually taking the wheels off. I think it's a little easier if you do have the wheels off because I don't have to be underneath the car to do this. I can just be sitting right here next to it, but it's up to you. It's not absolutely necessary. So yeah, after you get on jack stands, you're pretty much ready to start flushing the brake fluid. So here's your brake fluid reservoir right here. So if the fluid's old and dirty, you know, in your brake lines, that means that everything in the reservoir is also dirty. What I always do is I'll actually take all the fluid out of the reservoir first, put clean fluid in there. So that way, once you're pumping the brake fluid through the system, you're pumping clean brake fluid here from the res reservoir now, instead of having to pump all that dirty fluid out of the reservoir as well. It's less work. It'll go a lot quicker if you just do it that way. So the only thing about doing it that way is you need something like this, uh, which is just like, it pulls a vacuum. I'll just put that in the reservoir in order to get that dirty fluid out. Uh, I've had this for a while, but uh, you can find things like this at like Harbor Freight. You should have them for a pretty good price. You can also, if you don't want to spend as much money and get something as you know large as this, you can also just use like a turkey baser. I'm pretty sure they even just have things similar to that at Harbor Freight as well. As far as like where we're flushing it from the calipers, I have this, which once I take that rubber grommet off, I just stick this over the bleeder screw before I break it loose. And then you can actually see the fluid coming out through here. And you can kind of just watch this and you can tell it's dirty and then you just keep pumping the pedal till you see it come through clean. Uh, I know you, you can just like break the bleeder sc screw loose and just start pumping the brakes. Um, but you might just be getting brake fluid over all the rest of your stuff. So if you wanna keep it clean and not make it look like something is leaking. Uh, this just keeps everything clean. So on the uh, cap right here, it does say to use uh, use only dot three brake fluid from a sealed container. So yeah, you wanna, as long as the container is sealed, it's shelf life is a very long time. So yeah, I don't use like old brake fluid sitting around because I guess it can like absorb moisture, I guess is the problem. We're actually gonna be using dot four because that's what I have. Not a big deal, you can use dot four as well. Dot three or dot four. Even some of the containers you buy at an auto, auto parts store will say, can use this with dot three or dot four. So those are interchangeable. Just don't get any fluid that says dot five on it because that's like a different makeup entirely. I think it has some kind of like silicone in it or something. Isn't it purple? Yeah, I think that stuff's purple too. This stuff should be like yellowish, greenish. Amber. Colored. Yeah, yeah, amber colored. So, yeah, just don't get the dot five stuff. Looks like it's like a cover. It's sealed under there. Yeah, it is. Usually, there's a screen you can take off. Yeah, you can pull out to suck it out of there. So yeah, maybe uh, we're not gonna be able to do that. Will that fit in one of the holes? Uh, yeah, it's too big. That's poopy. Uh, this is the first time we've uh, changed the brake fluid in this car. I didn't realize there, usually there's like a screen under here, a piece you can pull out and then you can like stick that tube all the way down to the bottom of the reservoir. Unfortunately, this has those three holes. Um, I was able to take a little bit out of it and you can kind of see the level 
dropped down a little bit. So now we're just gonna pour clean brake fluid in there, pretty much just up to the max line, not like all the way up. Yeah, we're gonna be pumping it, it's gonna keep going down, and that's the thing, if you're doing this on your own, you have to just watch out for is, uh, if you just keep pumping the pedal and pushing the fluid through, eventually you might have an empty reservoir and then you're kind of like pushing air into the line. So yeah, we'll see how many like pumps it takes, but probably like seven to 10 pumps. We'll come and see how much fluid's in here. You just want to make sure this stays as close to the max as you can. Just like I said, so you're not pushing air through the system. So yeah, that kind of sucks that we can't get more of the fluid out of here. Um, it actually doesn't look like crazy dirty, but it's time for us to change it anyway. So yeah, we're just gonna fill this up real quick. Yeah, I'm just using a funnel because I don't want to get this stuff all over the place. So yeah, now we just have it up to the max. So we're back here at the right rear um, when doing this. Kind of like the general way of doing it is start at like the furthest caliper from the reservoir. So we'll start at the right rear here, go over to the left rear, right front, and then left front. Uh, so the ones in the back, as you can see, the bleeder screw is back here with this... Uh, little rubber piece on it so yeah you just take this rubber piece off and you got access to the bleeder screw there and then the uh the wrench that fits this is a 10 millimeter i actually have like these i don't even know what you call these you can just use a normal wrench and that'd be fine and honestly in some cases you could even put a socket on there it's just once you break it loose the fluid's gonna start getting over your socket and whatnot so yeah with these wrenches uh they can't really come off, so I put that on first, and I put the the rubber tube on there, and then we'll just break it loose, and then uh, I'll just be back here watching it, and Miranda will be in the car pumping the brake pedal. If you're um, you can do this alone. You just kind of have to go back and forth between the two. Okay. Yeah, you can start pumping it. So this is the only thing is, you know, I've been watching the fluid as Miranda's been pumping the pedal. So yeah, you can kind of see it get clearer as that's happening. And when she releases the pedal, I do see this like go back up just a little bit. Um, because Miranda made a point, and then I've always kind of thought this too, is you want to close the bleeder screw when the person in the car has the pedal all the way down, uh, just to kind of prevent air from getting sucked back into the system from here. Uh, so yeah, that's why I mentioned that, because if someone is doing this by yourself, and you're going back and forth, you know, it's kind of an interesting call, because, I mean... It barely goes back up and then it actually keeps dripping a little bit as you can see so i think you're fine but i guess the best way to do this is to have somebody helping you and when they're pumping the pedal when you're ready to close this part of the system this line have them push the pedal down then close the bleeder screw and they can release the pedal and then you know for sure that there's no way there's any air getting back into the system right here at the caliper at the bleeder screw uh, so yeah, we were just going to be mentioning, I know it's kind of hard to see, the fluid's right under this, uh, that lip right there. Under that lip, there's also, it's hard to tell, but there is a thing that says men and an arrow. So it's right at the men right now, and that's with Miranda pumping the pedal 15 times. We're still going to bleed that one a little more, so we're going to top it off again. So yeah, I'd say the safe bet is just to do... 10 because it was still visible above this lip so yeah like 10 full depresses of the brake pedal and then i would look into topping it up a little bit more just to be safe and make sure you're not pushing any air through the lines so yeah we're just gonna finish that one go to the left rear and then um we'll also just show you the setup for doing the fronts as well after that so uh, just took the uh rubber grommet off grommet off Put our wrench on, which the front calipers, this is the, the left front, it's the last one for us. These are also 10 millimeters, so all the bleeder screws are the same size. Then we put the hose on there, and then I'll just break it loose. 
Uh, the only other thing I wanted to mention is just, you know, the threads are somewhat delicate. I mean, obviously you don't want to leave them loose, but you really don't have to like crank these down. Just, I kind of just look at the way the wrench is before I break it loose. So I have a mental note, so I don't really go too far past that. I mean, you want it snug, obviously, so it's not leaking or anything, but uh, just be careful because these bleeder screws really don't need to be like tight. You just want to get them snugged down to basically where they were before. So yeah, we're just gonna bleed this last side and almost done. Yeah, you can go ahead. All right, so we just finished the left front. I uh, got all four done, and then um, just top the fluid back up to the max there. I know it's kind of hard to see. This light is really bright, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, just make sure you put those rubber, rubber grommets back on there. Uh, just helps keep dirt out of the bleeder screw. Because I know sometimes when they're they don't have that you can break it loose and no fluid comes out just because there's gunk up in there so yeah i was just thinking i mean i'm not like super smart or anything but uh like i was showing you guys with this and how explaining how having two people is just kind of helpful because then you can have someone when you're done like bleeding that particular caliper they can push the pedal down and keep it down while you tighten the bleeder screw so that you know no air is coming back into that caliper. Uh, I guess the thing I was thinking about is, you know, if you didn't have this on there, then I guess that would even be like something you should emphasize more. But with this on here, it almost makes it as if the bleeder screw is down here. So then when Miranda was releasing the pedal, I could watch the air go back up to like here. Uh, so I guess what I'm trying to say is if you really don't have anybody to help you, uh, try to have something like this because then when you finish pumping the brakes, the air only gets like up to here. It's not actually getting back into the caliper. I hope that makes sense for anybody watching. Um, but anyways, as far as how much brake fluid you need, um, considering the fact that we couldn't evacuate all the dirty fluid out of the reservoir, we definitely pumped it, I guess, more than we would have. Uh, we have these 12 ounce bottles. Uh, we just used three, literally emptied this one and it was like perfectly maxed. So yeah, three 12 ounce bottles is what we ended up using. And uh, yeah, it looks clean in the reservoir now. Um, I did use brake clean after finishing each one and just kind of sprayed the caliper because with taking that off, I mean, a little bit of brake fluid gets gets a little bit wherever, you know? Um, but it's always just good to clean stuff like that after you're done, that way you don't question, it's like, is this leaking later on? You know, you cleaned it, so then if you do see something, you know, like, oh, maybe I didn't tighten it enough or something like that. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful to anybody trying to flush your own brake fluid. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel, helps me and Miranda out. And uh, yeah, we appreciate it. See you guys in the next one. Peace.